Hello YouTube, this is the hammer handle from the hammer that I redid in the Sunday in the shop video and I should have took a before picture, I get busy doing stuff, forget but this is where it was all chipped and broke what I did is I reshaped it to fit the head down on there further and then I've been whomping it on there by using my mallet which I showed that in there that's why I made this for hammer handles and stuff. This way upside down and that'll drive the head on. Then it will leave an imprint in there. You can just about see a little bit of an imprint. So what we'll do here is we'll put this on the same way. The broken part was here because they whatever they hit, it would hit when they was pounding with that side of the hammer. Okay. We're gonna do this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the shadows. Kind of hard to do. It's better to do it off camera. Then we'll saw the excess off. This gives you a little imprint in here. In the wood. So that's good enough. You can just see a little bit of it. So, so much for that. Okay. We'll go ahead and scrape this down. We got our knife that we made. Made out of the old butcher knife. And this seems like it, it might have had the actual varnish on it. Because I don't think I'm just scraping off grease. I think this always was varnish. They never took it off. So we'll do that. We'll sand it. I said these work good. I can't tell you the grit. They're old sanding disc. And I use them to shape the handle up here. And of course my 4-in-1 rasp file. Rasp. R-A-S-P. Rasp. You can do this. Okay, we'll make this short. We'll just come back when this is all done. Uh, things like this will be done. Uh, we did super glue that where that was all broke and let it cure for about an hour on old splintered wood. So I don't think that'll come apart because the super glue I poured a lot in there, just the cheap stuff. So I can use as much as I want. But, uh, like these cracks, we'll just see what it looks like when we're done. I just want you to get a good look before. Okay, we'll be back when it's all done. So this is a short video on this project. And we are done with the handle. And we painted this. We do have some epoxy in there. I'll try to snap a picture of that. We did put a metal wedge in it. With epoxy. We put epoxy all over the wood. Before we drove this on here. Because it was cracked up inside of there. And it did work out good where we kept filing, rasping, I should say, and got the handle down to where you could just see part of that broken part. So that was good. We was able to reshape the handle and save the old one. Uh, we do still have a little nick in there. Some kind of staining in there, but I said it's going to be a work hammer. It will get dirty and greasy again. So thanks for watching. I ended up with a nice hammer that came out of the junk, so. Thanks again for watching.